Holy crap. Global warming. It's all over me. Hey guys, it's Charlie. It's uh, January 5th, Tuesday. And, um, you know, where are we uh, in 2010? I mean, we're five days into it. And, um, you know, the, the, the only thing I could think about over this weekend, I, I traveled for the weekend. I was in Denver uh, for about four days. And I, I'm more discouraged um, with my fellow citizen than, than I've ever been, um, especially after just seeing the attitude of people and, and listening to you know, the buzz on everything from – uh, being in the airports and people wanting to have body scanners to uh, being in malls and, and listening to people talk about how, you know, recovery is here, jobs are increasing. And the, the, the fact is we, we're so trained in, in pop culture to believe everything that we hear that it, that it doesn't matter. We can have people dying on the streets next to us, and, and we still just discount that as an isolated incident. I don't even know how to describe it. I don't know how you can see reality, how you open your eyes and you can see. You know, you can see there's more homeless on the streets. You can see that the jobs that are, are there are paying less money, less hours. People are struggling more. You see more foreclosure signs. You see more people selling everything they have to try to make ends meet. But yet you can believe that it was that this is part of the fix. This is part of the recovery that, uh, that we're in the middle of, you know, and, and that, that the – wise leadership of George Bush and now Barack Obama with their Wall Street gangster thugs who are really their puppet masters uh, convincing the whole population of this country that we need trillions and trillions of dollars given to these firms or the whole economy is falling apart. Well, I got news for you. The whole economy is gone. It doesn't exist. It's, on, it's in stasis mode right now. It's on absolute life support right now. If you back off all this fictitious money that has been pledged and uh, guaranteed, your future guaranteed to these Wall Street criminals, if you pull that money back, it's gone. It doesn't exist. It, it just doesn't exist. Do you work for a small business? Do you understand that you can't expand? Because you don't know what's coming down the pipe. All you know is give more, the government more power. Let them set regulations on every aspect of your life and everything will be fine. But the reality of that is any small business owner out there knows. He, he doesn't know if he can go borrow money. He doesn't know if he's going to be paying 20% more in taxes next year, even though benefits aren't going to kick in for three years for health care. He doesn't know if he's going to get nailed to pay for some kind of ridiculous social program. It's absolute insanity in this country right now. And the people who are sitting back and just letting it happen to them deserve what they get. And I've talked to a lot of people like that in the last few weeks. It absolutely... It absolutely makes me sick that people want to argue with you that, uh, that it's mandated that you buy health insurance. You, you, if you don't understand that, you, you, then you're an idiot. Then go sh throw the shackles on yourself right now because somebody else is doing the thinking for you. And you deserve to be a slave. That's the case. If you can't think for yourself, if you can't stand up for yourself, then you deserve to be an indentured servant. And that's exactly what you're going to be. So that's why I put think on the board. I also put be ready for the unexpected. Because the unexpected is the only thing that you can expect to happen, if that makes any sense. Because what should happen isn't going to happen. And what shouldn't happen is going to happen. You know, we, we have 20% uh, uh, unemployment. If you look at reality, if you, if you live in the, in the world of reality, you understand that our unemployment is at 20%. Okay? We have... Uh, 37, 38 million people on food stamps right now. We have a shortening work week. We have people making less money. But what are we worried about? We're worried about the underwear bomber. And if, if we stop and look at that situation, the joke that it is, you know, thank God 300 people didn't die in Detroit on Christmas Day. But the, 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 the joke behind that is with the 50,000 federal employees that call themselves the TSA, the 50 thousand employees, this small army of people that are on uh, the government dole who go show up in there in their little blue shirts and their job is to protect the American people because they're a bunch of pansies and they have to feel protected. The governments that are in collusion with our government and the 50,000 Americans 
who work at the TSA and the other countless uh, other government uh, employees for foreign countries, all of them failed. All of them failed. This idiot's dad calls the CIA, tells them, my kid's a criminal. He's a terrorist. Nothing happens. The guy gets all the way to Detroit and his underwear didn't go off. So 300 lives are saved. The end of that story is, what happened to stop that guy at the end was a, a flight attendant, not government employee, and passengers on the plane, American citizens. And you better take a lesson from that, because at the end of the day, when you expect the government to be there for you, because they look good, they go before the camera and smile and tell you what you want to hear and make you feel good about them taking your liberty and freedom, okay, and you expect them to be there for you, they're not going to be. It's going to be the guy living next door to you that you think doesn't know what he's talking about because he's always complaining about the Federal Reserve or complaining about the government influence uh, in our day-to-day -day life. That's who's going to be there in the end for you, not the government. The government cannot run anything. They cannot produce anything. They've stepped, in, they've stepped way beyond the bounds of what they were designed to be, and they will fail and have failed. I just pray to God that when this collapse happens, that people remember, people like you and people like me, who try to talk to them and try to wake them up. So hopefully the light comes on at some point. At any rate, there's the first rant for 2010. Think and be ready for the unexpected. That's all I got.